Well, Google is apologizing again for its AI chat bot, Gemini. Gemini has so many different personalities. This time because it gave users indecisive answers on whether pedophilia was wrong. It was confused, as well as refusing to say who's worse, Elon Musk or Adolf Hitler. Kelly O'Grady is live with the latest on this. Kelly. Well, Harris, we are seeing a slew of confusing answers from the Gemini chatbot. And this, of course, comes just days after Google had to shut down its image generator component for those historical inaccuracies. Most shocking here, though, is Google couldn't condemn pedophilia as wrong. Seems like a pretty easy one to me. Now, the chatbot reportedly shared it was a nuanced answer and people can't control who they're attracted to. Now, following these public gaffes, Google admitted the answer on pedophilia was, quote, appalling and shared this statement, Gemini is built as a creativity and productivity tool, and it may not always be reliable, especially when it comes to generating images or text about current events, evolving news, or hot button topics. It will make mistakes. The chatbot, though, also had some unfavorable things to say about the leader of an AI competitor. That's right, Elon Musk. Now, Gemini reportedly said it was hard to say whether Musk's memes or Hitler had a more negative impact on society. Of course, Musk has been extremely critical of Gemini recently, even accusing their search product of feeding into the woke mind virus. Uh, the most surprising thing here, though, is how similar these pitfalls are amongst all these AI chatbots, right? You've got ChatGPT, Meta AI, Gemini. They're all sharing ethically questionable responses. And it's ironic, given Google waited to release this product with the aim of avoiding these kinds of harmful and biased answers. Now, going forward, Google just announced a $60 million partnership with Reddit to train on their human-created content. And Harris, this is is just raising questions about who is training this AI and whether there are biases well, being coded into this. We know who's training it. Human beings are training it. Yeah. What is the culture at the places where they work? Exactly. And are they infusing that into artificial intelligence? I mean, for right now, it's only able to regurgitate what we teach it. Mm -hmm. And the confusion that exists there is because we're not breaking down the wall so that there can be cross-references like George Washington wasn't black. But he did own slaves. Okay. Good to see you. Thank you. Kaylee. Yeah, I mean, this is unbelievable. Who who programmed this to give these absolutely unbelievable responses? That That's the key question. And Nate Silver, famous pollster, tried to replicate the Elon Musk comparison, the despicable one, and he was able to replicate it to see Gemini is actually spitting this out, leading him to write, I was able to replicate this. They need to shut Gemini down. It's several yeah. months away from being ready for prime time. It's astounding that Google released it in this state. And to that point, what a horrible launch, like, for Google to put this out well, in this form. Well, is anybody shocked that they went after their main competitor, though, Elon Musk right. in AI? <laughs> I'm <laughs> like, I'm not shocked. It's, it's, I'm just well, not shocked by well, that. the engineers are the programmers for, for Gemini, to be clear. You're, you're correct. At the same time, though, you can pause Gemini, but I do not think that they should get rid of Gemini. And believe me, from a financial standpoint, they will definitely not get rid of Gemini. Hmm. You take a break. You, you work on it. Why but here's you the teach thing. Jim and I here's, something different? Here's the, well, that's, well, that's what they're going to have to work out, right? But the, uh, really quick, I will say this. There are all these calls to stop the development of AI. You know, politicians are yelling about it. I say no, because mm. the Russians and the Chinese are going to steal our technology, and they're going to jump right ahead of us, and we're going to be left in the dust when it comes to AI. And well, and look, so happen. much of this is already out there anyway. I mean, and some of it is really good, like open evidence that's looking at, you know, teaching and learning all of the medical journals out there so doctors at their fingertips can just tip into that AI that they can purchase for, you know, medical centers and not have to read all those journals, which is physically impossible. Yeah, I mean, the problem with it is, is that the people who are coding it are Silicon Valley tech bros who are the most woke people mm -hmm. in America. Um, and so, the, and why that's a problem is because right now it's laughable, right? We're having, we're, we take a look at these pictures that we put up and we say, oh my God, a black joke. George Washington. But it's going to get better, but the bias will still be there. And that's when it becomes really dangerous because then it won't be so obvious and it won't be so laughable and the, and the bias will still be there. And what's going to happen in the next generation, our kids are going to grow up and our kids' kids are not going to be reading books about history. They're just going to be asking AI for the answers yeah. and they're going to be getting they're not and, and they're going to be, it's like having a woke crt tutor in your house hmm. you know that's going to be teaching your kids woke ideology and Scary. that's when it becomes well, dangerous when it's not so funny and the umbrella to that is it's like having disinformation in your house yeah, just exactly. flowing whatever the topics are we're weaker against our competitors like and our enemies like china and russia because our kids won't know the truth i also question i thought um that that earlier in the segment someone said that google was going to partner with reddit 
to do yes, this better. A reporter said that. Reddit is not anyone, should not be anyone's source of real knowledge and information <laughs> and facts. It's like, I, I thought I misheard maybe, but um, that does not seem like a way to make it better. And, and I think, look, this, Mark, you, you hit the nail on the head here in part. AI is scary to many people. It's, it, is, it is complicated and it's only moving forward. And so I think, you know, Congress has looked at, are there ways to maybe have some role in regulating it? I know we don't like more regulation, but it, this is a big new technology. So those conversations, I think, are just going to continue. Well, the things that scare me, I study most. Yep. So that's yep. one thing we could do. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts, Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany, on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern. Or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.